Ang sakit na, no? Yung nag-spend ka ng napakatagal na panahon sa isang tao. Pero, natapos kayo ng ganun-ganun lang. Unti-unti mo nang tinatanggap. Wala na. Tapos na. Kaya na nahimik ka na. Kasi gusto mo pa rin maging masaya. Ito yung tao ang kasama mo ng ilang taon tapos bila na lang hindi ka na mahal. Nalaman mo na lang ang tingin na sa relasyon niya na pinilit mo namang alagaan ay basura pala. It doesn't make sense. Buhay mo yung ginugol mo rin sa tao eh tapos ipaparama sa'yo na puro pangit lang na alaala ang dinulot mo. Mahirap na nga mag-move on sa isang relasyon na panandalian doon pa sa taong matagal mong pinaglaanan ng oras, ba? Diba? Nangarap ka na na sa mga susunod na bukas, buwan at taon, ay siya pa rin ang makakasama mo. It is hard to move on especially kung nag-invest ka na ng oras at effort, em- emosyon at pagmamahal na sobra sa isang tao. But after the pain, after being cheated on, someone asked me, Di ka pa ba takot magmahal? At first, takot siyempre. I was traumatized. But at the end of the day, I realized that treated on is not a loss. It's actually a gain. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because you lose someone and niluloko ka lang pala. It's their loss for fooling you around and it's their loss because they lose someone or trust them the most and care for them genuinely the most. It is the kind of person in which God don't want, don't want you to have. At start masakit. Pero at the long run, you will thank God for letting you are out of that relationship that never helps you grow as a person. Kaysa lahat ng tao nagkakaranas nito. I hope you all can make it. I pray you can. And I know God, by God's grace, you will. I pray you can find that relationship imperfect pero walang confusion. And it will help you to grow as a person. I pray that God will give you the peace as you wait for the one that God has for you. Ito lang nga, tatandaan nyo, may mga tao mga alis, pero ang tanging Diyos lamang ang mananatili. And that separation saves you. And that pain is part of saving you too. Some of this connection are blessings, believe me, I've been there. The best thing you can give to God in this season of waiting is a total surrender. So cast all your cares upon him, including the broken pieces of yours, for he cares for you. Jesus loves you. I hope you knew that. And God bless your heart.